Oh, wait. <laughs> hey, guys. Okay, since I've come out, a lot of people have been having a hard time understanding why I hate my boobs. Boobs, tatas, breasts, whatever you would like to call them. Whatever it is that you would like to call them, to me, they're poison and I do not like them. So I'm going to give you a couple of reasons why I do not like my frontal area. Number one. You're cute. <laughs> they get in the way all the time. Especially when I am working. Like, I'm trying to get something that's over there, and then I'm like, Oh, can't wait. Too much in the way. And, oh, they're just a hassle. Kitten. No. Number two. They get sore, like, not all the time, but fairly often, mostly because I have to bind for, like, long periods of time. So, my ribs will get sore, and these will get sore, and, I mean, naturally, they just get sore every once in a while. I don't know if that happens to people who are assigned male at birth, but it happens to the other people, and it's not fun at all. All. When I'm exercising, I have to wear something that retains them, but I can't wear my binder or else I will pass out. <laughs> so I have to wear a sports bra, and even with that on, it's so annoying in every single way. It's like, god dang it. They just go up and down and then they slam and then it hurts and oh it's it's you really cannot understand it unless you had more than like an a cup before in your life and actually they even have a possibility of scaring me apparently which is like the weirdest thing ever but last night i was walking around topless like i usually do because it's i don't know i get overheated and stuff and we have a big, gigantic mirror in our hallway, at the end of the hallway. So I went out to get a glass of water and I was coming back to the bedroom. And I wasn't staring at the mirror. I just saw my boobs in the corner of my eye. And I don't know what I thought they were, like gigantic monster eyeballs or something. But they scared the living shit out of me. Like, I screamed. And I had to like look and I was like, are you fucking serious? I literally just scared myself with tits. That doesn't happen to people, but it happens to me because these things always happen to me because I live the weirdest life ever. Then I ended up crying. I was laughing so hard at how stupid I was. It was, it was not fun at all. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 Give me a kiss. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, my top dysphoria is a condition. It is kind of, I guess, a medical condition that I cannot help because I know a lot of cisgendered girls also feel the same way about their boobs getting in the way and hurting and it's annoying, but the difference between them and me is that while it's irritable, theirs do not make them feel body dysphoria. Um, dysphoria is basically a medical condition very close and similar to uh, ghost limb syndrome. Um, our brains basically have a certain map of how our physical body should be, and so when things are not how they should be, it does things to you. So 
if you lose a limb, you have a hard time imagining that your limb is gone and you'll sometimes feel it and it will feel uncomfortable and it just does not feel right. Um, just like if suddenly you grew an arm from your forehead, obviously your body would be go like, oh, that's definitely not what is supposed to be going on. And your brain would have such a hard time processing it that I'm sure that would also give you dysphoria. My brain has mapped out my body for anatomically male. It's not surprising that my body can't really come to terms with that. Uh, although my body hates the limb growing out of my forehead a lot more than the missing one because I, I don't know why it's like that. It's different for everybody, but for me, I have way stronger top dysphoria than I do bottom dysphoria. Like, I can go for a day without packing, but I can't go to places without packing. Like, I can't leave the house without packing or I feel uncomfortable and vulnerable, but I can stay at home and not pack and I don't feel depression or anything. But when I don't bind, I always feel really strongly. I can't bind for that long because of my back and it gets very sore, so I can only bind for a certain amount of time. So I usually only bind when I'm going out for a special occasion or something, or for a YouTube video sometimes. Body dysphoria is a condition that is very close to depression, I'd say, in terms of what you feel about having certain parts. Like, it can be crippling, and sometimes it can be deadly. And that's why, well, that's one of the reasons why trans people usually only live to about 30 years of age. Uh, although unsupportive family and friends and uh, abusive strangers also does not help. Those are also very big reasons why um, trans people take their lives. and. Very often, they don't take their lives and they're just murdered by people who are ignorant and really, really strong with their opinions there. So that is why I have my dysphoria. It's not something that can be cured. Um, they found that taking uh, hormone supplements or well, not supplements, but you know what I mean. Getting the hormone replacement treatment is supposed to actually usually lower their dysphoria, but it never really goes away for most people. And then the surgery is mostly cosmetic, but it will help depending on the person. If I got bottom surgery, it would not do anything because I'd be like, okay, I, I would have had the same thing if I got a strap on. Like, for me, it does not, it, it's not as important to me. Whereas if I got top surgery, I wouldn't have to bind, which I, like I said, I can barely do anyways because of my back. And I would be able to go shirtless and on the beach and stuff, and, and that would just be awesome. I've always wanted to be able to go shirtless on the beach. And I know there's beaches that allow you too if you have that anatomy, but um, I don't want people to see that, to be honest. It makes me feel uncomfortable when people see me, like how I don't want to see myself, if that makes sense. Um, that's about all I have to say. Um, I'm sorry if I got anything wrong. Like I said, I've been researching this for a while, but I'm still new to it. Um, and we're not really that far into research and stuff, so, um, we might discover that it is curable or something, but to be completely honest, I would rather be male either way, so, if they do find a cure for being transgendered, then, okay, I probably won't take it, I'd rather just transition. For me, that would mean more to me. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, um, 
maybe share it to people who aren't really sure what Dysphoria is, because I kind of try to take a little bit more of a friendly approach, and I just wanted to tell the story of what happened to me last night, because that made me laugh really hard. I'm so dumb. And I will see y'all later. Bye!